as the final first round matches in the King of the Ring tournament take place. Who will move on to the quarterfinals next week in Mexico City at Super Smackdown? Champions and warriors of the ring alike will clash before our very eyes here tonight. Kicking things off in moments, the Mad Dragon, Ilya Dragunov, goes one-on-one -on -one with the Celtic Warrior Sheamus in a first-round matchup in this prestigious tournament. And coming up in your main event, for the first time since April the 11th at Backlash, the Scottish Warrior, Drew McIntyre, returns as he goes one-on-one -on -one with the United States Champion Ricochet in a first-round matchup in the King of the Ring Tournament. Let us take a look at how this tournament has progressed thus far. Only two more spots remain in the quarterfinals. We know that Andrade will meet the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes next week in Mexico City in the quarterfinals. But which two superstars will meet them there? Who is going to move one step closer in the King of the Ring tournament? We find out live here tonight in H-Town, Houston, Texas, in a sold-out Toyota Center on Friday Night Smackdown. And for the first time since Battleground at the beginning of the month, the former Cruiserweight Champion, a man who once held the Intercontinental Championship on Monday Night Raw as well, the Man Dragon, the Czar, is back! The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Moscow, Russia, weighing in at 187 pounds, Ilya Dragon! Ilya Dragunov had one hell of a reign at the top of the cruiserweight division. But of course, back at Battleground, J.D. McDonough becoming the last man standing, slaying the Dragon, and winning the cruiserweight championship of the world. But now Ilya Dragunov looks to move forward, looks to take the next step in his Friday Night SmackDown career, entering the King of the Ring tournament, and a man who has made waves all across the WWE since his main roster debut in the fall of 2022. Ilya Dragunov looks to, as we mentioned, level up here on the blue brand, and it could all start here tonight. But obviously a tall task ahead for Ilya Dragunov. The Celtic Warrior Sheamus, a certified future Hall of Famer, a man who has done it all in this business, including winning the King of the Ring Tournament. Sheamus has got to be highly motivated to get back to the promised land, and tonight, an opportunity to start to do so. It is going to be one hell of a night here in Houston, and what bigger way to kick things off on SmackDown than with a first-round match in the King of the Ring! His opponent, representing the Brawling Brutes from Dublin, Ireland, weighing in at 267 pounds, the Celtic Warrior, Sheamus! This matchup brought to you by Velocity, which goes down each and every Wednesday afternoon only on the No Nation Gaming TikTok. Each and every Wednesday, superstars of Raw and SmackDown take center stage on Velocity, and you don't want to miss out. Go ahead and scan the QR code that is on your screen right now, hit the follow button, and never miss an episode of Velocity each and every Wednesday afternoon on the No Nation Gaming TikTok. But here we go, live from H-Town, the Celtic Warrior Sheamus, the Czar, Ilya Dragunov. The finals, I should say the final first round matches in the King of the Ring tournament take place right here tonight in Houston. Who is going to advance? Will it be Ilya Dragunov or will it be Sheamus? The winner of this matchup will of course meet the winner of tonight's main event, Drew McIntyre. One on one with the United States Champion Ricochet. The winner's moving on to Estadio Azteca in Mexico City, Mexico next week for one of the biggest smackdowns of all time. Over 50,000 expected next week in Mexico City. Should be a hard-hitting contest between these two superstars. I would expect nothing less from a bruiser like Sheamus and somebody who damn near thrives off the punishment in the ring, that being the man Dragon Ilya Dragunov. As we mentioned, Dragunov had one hell of a reign at the top of the cruiserweight division. Fought back even when you thought his back was against the wall time and time again. J.D. McDonough 
slaying the proverbial dragon back at Battleground last month, and now Dragunov looks to start anew here on SmackDown. Celtic Warrior Sheamus eyeing up Ilya Dragunov at ringside here. Sheamus obviously with the size and strength advantage tonight over the Czar. Maneuvers like that are gonna be Sheamus' MO. You have to have a feeling. Trying to take away the hard hitting, unpredictable, and certainly intense style of Ilya Dragunov. Sheamus looking to be the aggressor as he is going left, right to the knee. Sheamus coming off a loss to the almighty Bobby Lashley about a month ago here on Friday Night SmackDown. Now also lacing up a pair of boots once again tonight alongside Ilya Dragunov. Neither of these men looking to see their return to the squared circle go by the wayside. Ilya Dragunov able to get the shoulder up off the shoulder block. Sheamus is the veteran in the Celtic Warrior keeping his foot on the gas pedal. As we mentioned, this is what Sheamus has got to do, just bring the fight. Which, of course, is what the Celtic Warrior loves to do. He's made a career of it. Former King of the Ring winner during his day as well, but Ilya Dragunov looking to be the one who moves one step closer to wearing the crown Saturday night, June the 15th, in New Orleans, Louisiana. And Dragunov with a boot scrape. Had to put everything he had behind that maneuver to try to get back into this matchup. Sheamus the aggressor for a few moments. Ilya Dragunov, however, had been a little overzealous off those elbows. Now Sheamus once again using his strength to his advantage and sending Dragunov for a ride over the top rope. A simple yet effective maneuver is going to take the wind out of Dragunov as he comes crashing down at ringside. The Celtic Warrior not allowing the Tsar to mount a comeback. Not allowing that proverbial mad dragon to fly here in Houston, Texas tonight. Oh man, not a power bomb at ringside, deadlifting Dragunov. The Celtic Warrior doing everything he's got to do to keep down the Tsar, which is not an easy task. Sheamus did his homework coming into this matchup, realizing that Ilya Dragunov may be hungrier than ever to level up here on SmackDown. And Sheamus not looking to see that happen. On his behalf, another powerbomb this time in the ring. What is going to be a stacked night of action here on SmackDown as we are witnessing. Of course, the next matchup of the Women's World Championship Eliminator is on the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka. Meeks Roxanne Perez later tonight. The winner moves on to challenge Io Sky next week at Super SmackDown to crown the number one contender for the Women's World Championship. That coming up a little bit later here in Houston. And Sheamus going to the top rope, still unable to put Dragunov away. Whatever Sheamus was going for, obviously did not work out in his favor. A look at Dragunov, unable to capitalize. Sheamus able to catch himself a little bit off the landing. Dragunov pulling an unlucky straw with this matchup tonight. Sheamus obviously didn't get what he wanted coming off the top rope, but luckily it wasn't too devastating of a miss. Another powerbomb, this time sitting out with it, and Dragunov rolling to the outside. This has been 90% Sheamus has this match. The Celtic Warrior showing Ilya Dragunov it is not going to be an easy task here on SmackDown as he enters out of the waters of the Cruiserweight division and makes no mistake about it. Dragunov has seen superstar size and shapes alike of the Celtic Warrior in the past, but has spent the majority of his time over the last year fighting in the Cruiserweight division. Sheamus bringing the heavyweight style to this matchup. Couple of backbreakers on the outside, and Dragunov has got to be worse for wear as Sheamus continues the fury. Referees at a count of seven. We got to get this contest back inside the ring. Would hate to see a count out. Like we saw on Monday Night Raw with Dominic Mysterio stealing a victory over Solo Sokoa. Now Sheamus back in the cover on Ilya Dragunov. That's got to do it this time. Dragunov is still in this match, and Sheamus is in disbelief. The Celtic Warrior has been the aggressor. But Ilya Dragunov has got to find a way back in this contest. 
Into the corner goes Sheamus. Nice knife edge chop. Whatever the man dragons got left in the tank after being on the receiving end of several powerful maneuvers by the great white Sheamus. He has got to pull it out tonight. In the middle buckle drop in the knee. Nicely done by Dragunov and hurrying up into the cover. And only a one count that time and you gotta expect nothing less. After Sheamus, as we mentioned earlier, it's almost a 90-10 when it comes to momentum in this matchup. Dragunov fighting an uphill battle. Nice hip toss. Sheamus with the size and strength advantage, but I think the world has seen Ilya Dragunov and his training that he's posted online all the time in preparation for this King of the Ring matchup. Dragging off an absolute unit, a beast. He's got some, so let's just say some strength in there. He's gonna have to dig down deep and try to use it against Sheamus tonight, going for the bro kick, nobody home. Dragging off with Solarian. Could have been all she wrote, Sheamus again. Go for the bro kick again, Dragging off ducks. Dragunov avoiding disaster. Not once, but twice into the DDT. Will that do it? Not just yet, only a one count. Man, oh man, Sheamus almost had this matchup. Almost putting the nail in the coffin of Dragunov's hopes in King of the Ring. The Mad Dragon able to survive, but as you can see, extremely fatigued. Sheamus in the corner, and this Dragunov got in mind here. Dragunov's wheels are a spinning. Sheamus in the drop zone. From coast to coast goes the man Dragon flying through the skies of Houston, Texas into the cover. And Sheamus gets the shoulder up. You gotta commend the efforts of the Tsar, Ilya Dragunov. Desperate times call for desperate measures and he's trying anything to get back into this contest. Unable to put Sheamus away. And you see Dragunov slow to capitalize. Sheamus obviously had something taken out of him with those pair of boots off the coast to coast. Dragunov still fighting an uphill battle, I believe. And a mean uppercut that time. Dragunov a hard hitter. Extremely intense between the ropes. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute here. H-bomb! We've only seen that maneuver on a handful of occasions. But Dragunov pulled it out tonight, and it may be all she wrote. But another kick out by the Celtic Warrior. Dragunov may be in disbelief. But looking to keep his foot on the gas pedal. Into the corner he goes. Torpedo Moscow. Will the stacking of the offense do it for Dragunov? It does! What a victory in the King of the Ring Tournament! Sheamus the aggressor, controlling the majority of this matchup. But when Dragunov had an opportunity, he kicked down the door with emphatic force, stacking some of his best maneuvers in his arsenal, and finds a way to keep down the Great White on SmackDown! Ilya Dragunov exiting the cruiserweight division for the time being as he pursues greener pastures here on Friday Night Smackdown. And now we know the Mad Dragon is on his way to Mexico City, Mexico next week. But who will meet him there? Will it be the United States Champion Ricochet or will it be the Scottish Warrior Drew McIntyre? We want to take you back to Velocity just last Wednesday over on TikTok where we saw an exciting meeting between Axiom and Imperium's Ludwig Kaiser. Issues between these two tandems brewing for weeks here on Friday Night Smackdown. Kaiser able to do one good for the Imperium locker room and scoring the victory. It was a short-lived celebration for Vinci and Kaiser as they were met with the emphatic force of the almighty Bobby Lashley. Gunther stated on social media a few weeks ago he was waiting for somebody worthy of his attention. Well, Bobby Lashley getting right into the horizons of Gunther saying, how about this for some attention? 
And as we found out over the weekend, Bobby Lashley will challenge Gunther for the World Heavyweight Championship coming up on Saturday night, June the 15th at King of the Ring. No swords of history between these two men. This is a rematch 16 months in the making going back to WrestleMania of 2023. Gunther defeated Bobby Lashley on that night to win his first main roster championship, the United States Championship. Lashley never got a rematch as he was drafted over to Monday Night Raw. One year and change later, a different landscape here on SmackDown, and Lashley wanting his opportunity to stand across the ring from the ring general. The stakes couldn't be any higher. Lashley meets Gunther one-on-one, -on -one just two weeks from tomorrow at King of the Ring. But here tonight, Vinci and Kaiser look to get back at the number one contender, Bobby Lashley. A victory for Kaiser, as you saw, was a short-lived celebration as Giovanni Vinci was cut in half, not once, but twice. Bobby Lashley got what he wanted. He got the attention of Guther, and he gets the World Championship opportunity two weeks from tomorrow. But will he be able to get through a prepared and focused Imperium's Giovanni Vinci here tonight in the Toyota Center. Questions we await answers to as the road to King of the Ring continues. And his opponent from Colorado Springs, Colorado, weighing in at 273 pounds, the almighty Bobby Lashley. Well, of course, before King of the Ring in New Orleans, we make a pit stop at Estadio Azteca. Mexico City, Mexico, for one of the biggest SmackDowns of all time. It is Super SmackDown, and it is live next week at 5 p.m. Eastern time, which as we already know, Andrade will meet Cody Rhodes in a King of the Ring quarterfinal matchup. Ilya Dragunov advancing just moments ago who he meets next week. We find out later tonight. Super SmackDown shaping up to be an extraordinary event. Over 50,000 expected for one of the biggest SmackDowns of all time, and it is gonna be live next Friday night. You ain't gonna to wanna to miss a moment of this SmackDown action. Just like you don't wanna miss a moment of a very busy and high stakes night here in Houston. Giovanni Vinci cut in half, not once, but twice on Velocity two weeks ago. The almighty Bobby Lashley looking to keep his momentum alive, but not if Imperium has got anything to say about it. Lashley's got his matchup with Gunther at King of the Ring, but what Lashley needs to be careful of tonight is to not be overzealous, and he needs to make sure his focus is on the now. Bobby Lashley cannot have his mind already in New Orleans two weeks from tomorrow when he challenges for the gold, because if he does, Giovanni Vinci, as well as Ludwig Kaiser at ringside, you know they're gonna find any way they can to try to get into Bobby Lashley's momentum and crumble it here tonight. Last time we saw Vinci in singles action just a few weeks ago, at one-on-one -on -one with Nathan Frazier here on SmackDown as a victory for Vinci. And as you saw, Ludwig Kaiser with a victory over Axiom. Two weeks back on Velocity. Things going well for Imperium at the moment. Bobby Lashley looking to play. Spoiler, great agility shown by a former world champion in his own right. Bobby Lashley has not forgotten about what happened 16 months ago at WrestleMania in 2023. Defeated by Guther, losing the United States Championship, drafted over to Monday Night Raw, never getting the chance to get his rematch with the Ring General. You know, that victory was certainly a monumental one for Guther. At the time, maybe the biggest victory of Guther's career. Bobby Lashley looking to right that wrong sometime later, and the stakes couldn't be any higher. Luther's been holding that World Heavyweight Championship since Saturday night, or excuse me, Sunday night, November the 19th of last year, has defeated some of the best in this industry on the way. Bobby Lashley looking to bring the reign of the ring general all come crashing down. No remains to be seen if he's gonna be able to do so, but first Giovanni Vinci trying to have his way with Lashley tonight. Great agility shown by Vinci about it before, Giovanni Vinci, a dangerous superstar inside of the ring. Multiple tool player. Some great power, great agility, great speed. And a great talent as he gets set into the ropes. And I don't care how good you are, 
When you're getting cut in half by Bobby Lashley, there is no remorse being shown. A huge victory. Here is your winner, people. Oh, wait a minute. Well, Ludwig Kaiser didn't get to celebrate on Velocity, and it looks like Lashley isn't get to celebrate either. For the first time since February of 2023, when these two met for the first time ever at WrestleMania, they are in the same ring as they approach a World Heavyweight Championship encounter. Bobby Lashley's been building some huge momentum for himself. Victories over Sheamus, Randy Orton, now Giovanni Vinci tonight. But will he be able to take down the ring general Gunther when the world title's on the line at King of the Ring on Saturday night, June the 15th? It was back on the first SmackDown of the season where we saw the Irish ace J.D. McDonough one-on-one -on -one with Wesley. It was a victory for McDonough, but he wasn't satisfied at the 1-2-3 and ambush after the contest. And this devastating Saito on the outside, right on top of a steel chair, putting Wesley on the shelf for several, several weeks. That was up until three weeks ago when Wesley returned J.D. McDonough, the new cruiserweight champion, a target on his back, but Wesley has got even bigger problems. He wants to dish it back to J.D. McDonough for putting him on the shelf all those weeks ago. But Wesley was in action on velocity as of late and picked up a big time victory over Angel Garza. A great matchup where Wesley showed he is looking better than ever. And we may be looking at a future challenger for J.D. McDonough's cruiserweight championship. And I am sure J.D. McDonough, after falling short in the King of the Ring tournament last week, the last thing he wants to deal with is somebody in hot pursuit of his Cruiserweight Championship gold. Wesley, however, with different plans. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Dayton, Ohio. Weighing in at 183 pounds, Wes. Well, as advertised, Wesley set to go one-on-one -on -one with the big strong boy, Tyler Bate. Tyler Bates had his own issues with J.D. McDonough over the last month. Remember J.D. interrupting that matchup between Tyler and Ilya Dragunov just as of late on SmackDown. Wesley and Tyler Bate look to take the next step in challenging for the Cruiserweight title. Who will move one foot closer? We find out when SmackDown returns live from Houston. Prepare for the most exciting 10 minutes, a fast-paced 600 seconds, and all the action you can handle. Coming your way exclusively every Wednesday to the Noah Nation Gaming TikTok, the superstars of Brawl, and SmackDown race to the finish line on Velocity. A new season in the WWE is upon us, and you haven't seen anything yet. Don't miss Velocity every single Wednesday, only on TikTok. You know, we spoke about Tyler Bates' recent encounters with J.D. McDonough, but on the Velocity before Battleground, Tyler Bates fell short to McDonough on an episode of Velocity. You gotta believe that has been a thorn in the side of Bates ever since, something that has kept him up at night, especially with the fact that McDonough went on to win the Cruiserweight title in that last man standing matchup. But as we mentioned, Tyler Bate, as advertised, set to go one-on-one -on -one with Wesley, which should be some exciting Cruiserweight division action. Both men with their own vendettas, and both men with a similar goal in targeting the Cruiserweight champion in J.D. McDonough. Well, this matchup tonight could be very telling on who's gonna be next in line at, to get at the Irish Ace, excuse me. Wesley obviously heavily motivated after he missed time away from the ring thanks to that ambush that you saw moments ago. We talked about it with Tyler Bate last month on SmackDown, one-on-one -on -one with Ilya Dragunov. Great matchup that was interrupted by J.D. McDonough and his ambush of Ilya Dragunov in that contest. Something that Tyler Bate, I'm sure, has not sat in well with. Tonight really comes down to who is the better man between these two cruiserweights, and I am sure the Irish ace, wherever he is, 
has got his eyes on this contest. Mansoor is not in a good mood after getting bounced out of the King of the Ring tournament last week by the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes, who is on his way to Super SmackDown seven nights from tonight to meet Alidolo Andrade in the quarterfinals of the tournament. Tyler Bate, shooting star press, the big strong boy ever explosive between the ropes. Wesley like a spark plug. Tyler Bate, I would say, with the strength advantage in this matchup. Beautiful half Nelson. Wesley staring up at the lights of the Toyota Center. Could be all she wrote. Don't call Tyler Bate the big strong boy for nothing. What he lacks in stature, he makes up, makes up with, excuse me, in strength and certainly some speed and agility between the ropes. Wesley needing the ropes to get to his feet here tonight. Tyler Bate in hot pursuit. Nice Larry. Whatever Tyler Bates got in mind. Now's the time to deliver why Wesley's down momentarily, but can't wait too long. Wesley knocking him off the middle buckle. And Wesley not here for a long time, but here for a good one. Canadian Destroyer. And heading to the top. Wesley looking to make short work of the big strong boy. Corkscrew, will that do it? And that's gonna be a victory for Wesley here tonight. Oh, whoa, 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 wait a minute. JD McDonough with the Cruiserweight Championship across the skull. McDonough realizing there is a target on his back, not just because of his previous action, but because of the gold he hoist in the air, laying out Wesley here tonight. For months here on SmackDown, Shotzi has had an issue with the new Women's World Champion Raquel Rodriguez. Really believes that her spot belongs to Shotzi. Well, a few weeks ago, Raquel was ambushed in the aisleway, walking down the aisle for a matchup with Shotzi, but Shotzi had other plans, ambushing Raquel at ringside. Well, that ambush is gonna bleed into Super SmackDown last week. It's put up or shut up. Shotzi believes her spot, Raquel's spot, belongs to the Blackheart, well, now she's got a chance to prove it. It's a street fight next week. And although the Women's World Championship won't be on the line, you gotta believe Shotzi is looking to earn an opportunity and take everything away from Raquel Rodriguez. Street fight next week in Mexico City. And it is time to find out who meets EO Sky at Super SmackDown next Friday night. Making her way to the ring from Laredo, Texas, Roxanne Perez! Well, let's take a look at last week on SmackDown as Tegan Knox went one-on-one -on -one with the genius of the sky, Io Sky, in the opening matchup of the Women's World Championship Eliminator. Tegan Knox putting up one hell of a fight, but Io Sky showing why she is one of the best in the business today. Out wrestling Tegan Knox when she needed to and taking things to the sky like she does best. EO punching her ticket to Super SmackDown next Friday night. But who is going to meet her there in the finals of the Women's World Championship Eliminator? The winner of the entire Eliminator will, of course, challenge Raquel Rodriguez for the gold at King of the Ring on the 15th of June. But first, we got to find out who's going to be one step closer to doing so here tonight. Roxanne Perez fighting in her home soil tonight in the home state of Texas. But she has got a tall task ahead in the Empress. And from Osaka, Japan, Asuka! You gotta believe that Asuka is the favorite coming into this one. A decorated woman superstar throughout her career, certified future Hall of Famer. Just this time last year was hot off the heels of a very lengthy reign as the WWE Women's Champion over on Raw. And Asuka, of course, drafted the SmackDown and has already continued to make waves, winning the over-the-top rope. Battle Royal two weeks ago, qualifying for this eliminator. But now she looks to take down Roxanne Perez in one-on-one -on -one action, spoiling the hopes and dreams of Perez in this home state homecoming and making her way to Super SmackDown next week. Roxanne Perez, former NXT Women's Champion, but so is that devilish 
very intimidating woman. The Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka. One on one with Roxanne Perez. The winner meets Io Sky at Super SmackDown next week in a number one contender's bout. Who is it gonna be? High stakes, high reward here on SmackDown. What about the news we found out moments ago? Raquel Rodriguez has her hands full with Shotzi in a Mexico City street fight next week. Something that Shotzi has really brought upon herself over the last few months. No matter how many times Raquel has beaten her between the ropes, Shotzi has continued to come back for more. All started several months ago when Raquel Rodriguez was given a spot inside the Elimination Chamber. Shotzi taking issue, she wasn't chosen. Raquel went on to win the Elimination Chamber matchup, which did not sit well with the ballsy badass. Oh, man. Ever since then, Shotzi has here and there been on the tail of Raquel Rodriguez. And then you saw what happened just a few weeks ago, the ambush in the aisle way. We're going to have that street fight next week in Mexico City. Put up or shut up for Shotzi, but... Roxanne Perez and Asuka, the center stage tonight in the Toyota Center. And so far, it is all Empress of Tomorrow. Got to believe Asuka's looking to make short order of Roxanne Perez tonight and reserve her energy for what could be a very intriguing, exciting, and exhausting matchup for the women involved. As Io Sky awaits her opponent next week in Estadio Azteca. 50,000 expected. Will it be Oscar or will it be Roxanne Perez fighting to earn a spot to challenge Raquel Rodriguez for the Women's World Championship on Saturday night, June the 15th? They shape it up to be one hell of a night in Smoothie King Center, New Orleans, Louisiana at the King of the Ring. Roxanne Perez and Oscar looking to move one step closer and earning a championship opportunity. Roxanne Perez also recently drafted from Monday Night Raw over here to Friday Night SmackDown. She teamed up with Raquel Rodriguez as well as Tegan Knox. Picked up a big six-woman tag team victory. Last month here on SmackDown really what awarded Raquel, or I should say Roxanne, the position in this eliminator, as it did Tegan Knox. Tegan getting bounced last week. Will Roxanne be able to have different luck? Obviously a tall task in there with Asuka. Asuka trying to outrun the younger, maybe even faster competitor experience on the side of Oscar, but Roxanne Perez is not backing down from the challenge tonight. So be careful what she wishes for. Look at Oscar all over Roxanne with these strikes. Just when you thought Perez was getting in control of this matchup, and great effort showed one of the most successful and intimidating women to ever lace up a pair of boots gets back into the contest. Look at that, maybe a little bit of frustration shown by the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka. Uncharacteristic if I say so myself. Maybe Asuka's a little bit worried about Roxanne Perez tonight. Somebody who has been touted as one of the future stars of the women's division. Asuka could be worried that Roxanne Perez did a victory for her tonight. Moves one step closer to not only challenging for the Women's World Championship, but taking Asuka's spot near the top of the division in the WWE. Maybe there's a bigger underlining story here for the Empress of Tomorrow. All remains to be seen as Roxanne Perez is coming alive on her home soil. Asuka creating some distance, not allowing a comeback here. Backslide into the pinfall, Perez. Maybe get the shoulder off the canvas. Very competitive matchup so far, and a nice DDT. Gotta give credit where credit's due. The young star shining bright here on SmackDown, but Asuka not allowing a three count to be had. And another DDT. Had some emphasis behind it. Bit of an impaler, if I will. Asuka down and out. Perez may be wasting time dragging Asuka away from the ropes. Gotta commend the effort, not looking to make a naive mistake with the veteran. Getting the shoulder up once more. Io Sky is gonna be licking her chops watching this matchup. And watching these two women try to beat each other from pillar to post. Io Sky with the two week turnover, two week layover. Heading into Mexico City next week. These two women are gonna have less of a rest going into that Women's World Championship Eliminator Finals. As Asuka now with the hip attack on Roxanne Perez. 
And I think it is academic from here. Maybe not. Roxanne Perez getting the shoulder up. Asuka has put so many Hall of Fame caliber superstars away with that hip attack. Unfortunately, unable to keep down Roxanne Perez tonight. And now look at Asuka springing up in a pair of boots. Asuka's got to be thinking, what do I got to do to put down this young stud in Roxanne Perez? The hip attack didn't do it. What is? Io Sky awaits her challenger for Super SmackDown next week. A number one contender's bout with 50,000 in the room to be expected. Who is going to be under the bright lights in Mexico City, Mexico? Asuka may not have beaten Roxanne Perez with that hip attack, but she certainly did some damage. Perez up against the ropes. I don't think this is where she wants to be. Asuka slowing down the pace, taking her home state of Texas out of this thing. Just starting to incapacitate Roxanne Perez, if I say so myself. Perez rolling to the outside, trying to create some distance, but I don't know if it's going to do her any good as Asuka's eyeing up Perez and dropping the axe hammer. Simple yet certainly effective maneuver as Asuka brings the fight to the outside of the squared circle. Well, there's Perez with a reversal. Asuka inside the ring now. Roxanne Perez might have just got lucky off that reversal, just trying to create some distance, catch a breath, get a little R&R. &R. But Asuka, like a shark that smells blood in the water, realizes Perez is nowhere near 100%. Fatigue starting to set in, and Asuka's looking to strike. Wait a minute, Perez off the counter. Asuka may have waited too long. Don't underestimate this former NXT Women's Champion. Nice tilt to whirl. Over the top goes Asuka. And a drop kick sends the Empress down to the floor. Is Roxanne Perez on the verge of mounting an epic comeback here in her home state of Texas? Roxanne Perez obviously with only so much in the tank. Does she have enough? Maybe not. Whatever's left, Asuka's looking to squeeze out of her. That might have been the last ditch effort, the last hope that Roxanne Perez had as Asuka now. Trying to strike again, but here's Perez into the cross face. Asuka down and out. Asuka usually the one dishing out the submission holds. Tonight, it's a little bit of a roll reversal. Asuka taps. Perez has got a first class ticket to Mexico City. A lot hangs in the balance here, and Asuka able to roll Perez off of her. Asuka knows how to not only dish out the submissions, but also how to get out of them, and knows how to dish out the pain, maybe better than anybody. Just when you think Perez is back into this matchup, Asuka just pulls the rug right out from underneath of her. And Asuka again, trying to pick Perez up, a little bit of a distance created. Wait a minute here, Roxanne, pop rocks. Down goes Asuka. Striking while the iron's hot. What an upset! Roxanne Perez is going to Mexico City! Here is your winner, Roxanne Perez! You gotta chalk that up as an upset. Asuka controlling a lot of this contest. Just when you thought Perez was down and out, she finds a window and she's on her way to Mexico City! Next week on Super SmackDown, the WWE Tag Team titles are on the line in a highly anticipated WrestleMania rematch. A-Town Down Under defends the gold against Latino World Order. That's next Friday night. And as you just saw, Roxanne Perez advancing in the Women's World Championship Eliminator. She will go one-on-one -on -one with the genius of the sky, Io Sky. The winner of this matchup meets Raquel Rodriguez at King of the Ring on Saturday night. June the 15th. And speaking of the champion, she has got her own personal issue with the ballsy badass Shotzi. This score to be settled in a Mexico City street fight in front of 50,000 strong next Friday night. And of course, in the King of the Ring tournament, we know one of our quarterfinal matches as El Idolo, Andrade, 
takes on the American nightmare, Cody Rhodes. Promises to be one hell of a contest, and of course the man dragon, Ilya Dragunov, advancing at the top of the hour. Who will meet him at Super SmackDown next Friday night? We find out right here, right now. It is main event time from the Toyota Center in Houston, Texas on what has been a stakes-filled SmackDown. The United States Champion looks to move one step closer to main eventing SummerSlam in the King of the Ring Tournament. The following contest is scheduled for one star. Making his way to the ring from Las Vegas, Nevada. Weighing in at 190 pounds. The WWE United States Champion, Ricochet! Ricochet winning the United States Championship over a month ago here on SmackDown against the phenomenal AJ Styles. He has since defended the gold successfully against Carmelo Hayes as well as Kofi Kingston. And although Carmelo Hayes has his eyes on Ricochet, the Trick Mellow Gang's got their own problems to deal with with the New Day. All the while that situation gets sorted out, the United States Champion Ricochet enters the King of the Ring tournament, but there may be no taller task than the motivated man that will stand across the ring from the champion tonight. For the first time since April the 11th, a pissed off Scottish psychopath is back on SmackDown. His opponent from Air Scotland, weighing in at 254 pounds, the Scottish warrior, Drew McIntyre! This is a man who once waved the flag of Friday Night Smackdown loud and proud, but ever since November of last year, McIntyre has been obsessed with winning back the World Heavyweight Championship even leading to some actions that maybe even Drew McIntyre's not proud of against the Tribal Chief Roman Reigns leading up to that matchup at Backlash back in April. However, since McIntyre fell short to victory on that night, he took some time away to seemingly get his head straight, but now an opportunity arising. McIntyre returning to SmackDown for the first time since the month of April. and looks to move one step closer to winning back the championship he lost all those months ago. As we know, the winner of the King of the Ring tournament moves on the challenge for their brand's World Heavyweight Championship at SummerSlam this August. Drew McIntyre wants that opportunity. But first, he's got to get through another champion here on SmackDown as the final first round matchup in the King of the Ring is underway. Ricochet has been in the ring with men with very similar styles as of late speed and agility and ricochet has certainly proven to be one of the best at flying through the air but i don't know if that is going to be what aids him tonight against a very motivated i am sure angry frustrated scottish warrior drew mcintyre mcintyre may have taken some time away to get his head straight and try to recoup and Really focus up on what matters here on Friday Night SmackDown, but that does not mean McIntyre is entering the squared circle with anything less than something to prove here tonight in Houston. And already a close call hot out of the gate. Ricochet may need to use that speed and try to soar through the skies as much as possible in this matchup. Trying to stick and move against Drew McIntyre. Wow, look at that. Tilt to whirl using McIntyre's own momentum against him that time. They obviously take nothing away from the United States champion Ricochet has beaten some of the best in this industry. Future Hall of Famers like AJ Styles and Kofi Kingston as of late. Will he be able to keep down Drew McIntyre? Is the question at hand, but literally taking down McIntyre off the crossbody. This would be a huge upset in my eyes in the King of the Ring tournament. At the same time, as we mentioned, can't take anything away from the United States champion. But Drew McIntyre, as we mentioned, once holding the flag of SmackDown, waving it loud and proud over 200 days as World Heavyweight Champion last year. 
Ever since he lost the title to Guther back at Survivor Series in November, McIntyre just had a different look in his eyes. He's become a changed man, if you will. And I think it hit that much closer to home when McIntyre failed to win back the championship in the main event of WrestleMania a few months back. Now Drew McIntyre looks to earn one more opportunity to win the gold at SummerSlam, and he looks to do it through the King of the Ring tournament, and it has to go through Ricochet, then that's what McIntyre will do. McIntyre willing to ragdoll the obviously smaller competitor and use that as his game plan for victory. And a couple of near falls already. Ricochet feeling the brunt of the strength and the fury that McIntyre is bringing to the table tonight. Dare I say we've already seen a couple of upsets here tonight on SmackDown. Ilya Dragon off defeat in Sheamus. Matchup could have went either way, I'll bite. Now McIntyre hoisting Ricochet in the air. Huge suplex with the hesitation. A little bit of showing off by McIntyre, but got it a point to prove, does the Scottish Warrior. Talking about the upsets, Roxanne Perez with a victory over Asuka moments ago. As we said, that's an upset of any day of the week. Did we see another one in tonight's main event as Ricochet looks like he avoided the Glasgow kiss that time and able to take down McIntyre off the springboard. The United States Champion trying to do anything he can to bring the Scottish Warrior down to size. Down goes McIntyre once more. Ricochet going to the top early. Look at this, shooting star press into the cover. And he almost had McIntyre, but a win was not to be, at least in that moment. Well, Ricochet went for the shooting star. That is the victory that gained him victories over Carmelo Hayes and Kofi Kingston as of late, but not enough to keep Drew McIntyre down. Now McIntyre creating some distance and a Glasgow kiss. And that could be all she wrote for the United States champion. Not just yet. These two men coming in with their greatest hits in tonight's SmackDown main event. You gotta expect nothing less. Ricochet truly needs to do that. And Drew McIntyre, just as we mentioned, with that point to prove. Maybe more motivated than ever in his career. Tonight is the night to prove it. Imagine the deep end that McIntyre would go off if Ricochet does find a way to get the upset tonight. Holy hell! What a series of maneuvers by the man who wears the red, white, blue, and gold. The United States champion bringing McIntyre back into the ring. McIntyre is in trouble. A Spanish fly, a shooting star, a springboard. McIntyre seemingly down, but is he out? Got to admire the heart and the desire of the United States champion to try to get this victory tonight and move on to fight Ilya Dragunov next week in Mexico City. McIntyre now, realizing Ricochet was starting to gain some momentum. That's the last thing he wants to see. Sending Ricochet to the other side of the ring. Ricochet loves to fly through the air, but not like that. McIntyre just sending Ricochet for an amusement park ride that doesn't I'm sure Ricochet doesn't find very amusing, but now Drew McIntyre back in hot pursuit of victory. Ricochet looking to steal the victory. Almost had him again, man. Can't keep Ricochet down, or at least not for now. That big boot might knock anybody's lights out. Ricochet rolling to the outside, but there may be no running from the Scottish Warrior tonight. Sheamus unable to institute this maneuver at the top of the hour, but now McIntyre with 10 beats off the boundary. A mixed reaction, I would say, for McIntyre here in Houston. 
Many fans unpleased with McIntyre's actions leading up to that matchup with Roman Reigns back in April. But nonetheless, Drew McIntyre's got to cancel out the noise and try to focus on the task at hand, winning back the World Heavyweight Championship that he lost all those months ago. It could start here tonight in the final first round match in King of the Ring. Drew McIntyre struggling to find a way to keep Ricochet down. Look at the strength out of the one and only, trying to hoist McIntyre up. Might have gotten over Zealous. United States Champion into the ropes and a Claymore kick! McIntyre moving on in the King of the Ring Tournament. You gotta give credit where credit's due. Ricochet did all he could in this matchup to try to survive a very motivated Scottish warrior. But Drew McIntyre looking better than ever. And nothing may take this man's hindsight off the world title. Here is your winner, the Scottish warrior, Drew McIntyre! And we now look and a completed quarterfinals, which kick off Monday night on Raw, and then of course bleed in to Super SmackDown next Friday night. The Czar, Ilya Dragunov, now set to go one on one with the Scottish warrior, Drew McIntyre. That is gonna be one hell of a contest in the quarterfinals of the King of the Ring tournament. And it all goes down next Friday night Live at 5 p.m. Eastern Time, over 50,000 expected for Super SmackDown in Mexico City. The road to King of the Ring continues to heat up. High stakes and high reward. Who is going to move one step closer to wearing the crown? We find out next week. What a night it has been here in Houston. Thank you for joining us. Drew McIntyre is moving on.